Good morning and welcome to Dartmoor. So, as I said before the intro, we are in Dartmoor and I am here with a friend of mine, Simon, just there. And Simon also has a YouTube channel. He lives locally to Dartmoor. In fact, he is living on Dartmoor. And uh, if you like all things Dartmoor and a good old West Country accent, uh, he's on 920 odd subscribers at the moment. And I want to get him over to a thousand marks. If you all do me a favor, and uh, click the link in the description and go subscribe to his channel for me. So what's the plan? Um, well, I haven't really got one really, just going on a short walk. Uh, just seeing what we can find uh, photography wise. Uh, I'd just like to point out that Simon is not a photographer. And he's gone through a very deep puddle that I can't get through. There we go, hold on a minute. There we go. So, yes. He's, yeah, Simon's not a photographer, but uh, he does some packing videos. And so the plan is today is to just go for a walk and see what we can find and take a picture of it. Took one back there and uh, just see how it goes. Uh, the weather at the moment is very interchangeable. Being Dartmoor, you get four seasons in five minutes. Uh, we've already had sleet, rain, and uh, although the wind is keeping down. Anyway. I'll leave it here, catch you later. So we're looking at a composition there down this by this river. And I've got the uh, Tamron 10 to 24 mil lens on. And I've already taken the shot. And I've got my Hyder M10 system out the neon part there. And I've got the polarizer in there, got a three-stop filter and a three-stop um graduated filter as well. And uh, just a picture of that. That's about what we're seeing through the lens. I've already taken the shot, it was uh, 1.6 seconds. F11 at ISO 100 focus right on the gate this way. Clement here upon Dartmoor, really struggling 
with uh, keeping the uh, GoPro lens free of raindrops because that really does annoy me. But anyway, as you can see, we're uh, virtually in the middle of nowhere now. Just walking half along the river. Simon just there. And, uh, that waterfall, by the way, is uh, called Elite. It's running over that bridge down around the corner. And uh, Simon tells me it was the main water source for Plymouth um, at one stage. So anyway, I'm going to keep cracking on and um, speak to you later. We're just wandering along this um, river here and uh, got me a competition looking that way. So what I'm waiting at the moment, the sun is up there. It's, uh, I'm waiting for it to clear because it's taking some nice light on this hill and on that tour up there. I don't know what tour it is. But at the moment I've got a, a three stop filter and a polarizer and a hide head turn system. One second F11 ISO 100. All I've got to do now is just wait. Well, the weather on Dartmoor here has been inclement to say the least. Uh, constant raining and uh, all the waterproofs have been tested and uh, I have wet feet. Now, dirty nets. So I'm doing the best I can with the video in. And um, yeah, so everything's, everything has been tested, all the waterproofs have been tested. So far I'm dry, just my feet are wet. And it's uh, sort of like getting the camera out to, because um, at the moment you get some superb light, like I have behind me there. And uh, once I get the camera out, the rain just comes in, everything gets soaked, and uh, it's just picking, picking your time to do it. But bear with me, we'll get there in the end. Anyway, onwards. Right, so we've come a little bit further, we have come to a forest, very tall reservoir, that's the dam behind me. Recorded with the phone, left the GoPro in the car, um, so I'll do what I can with the phone. But yeah, it's a good sight right there. That water rushing down there. Anyway, we're in these woods. Just give you a 360. And uh got the camera. Let's see what we can do here. So what's the reason for uh, coming out here is on this in this woods is uh, Simon was showing me well going to show me a, a nice big waterfall. I think they're not far from it at the moment. I mean as you can see here all the water behind me. And uh, that's what we're having to walk through all of that. And we've got the river down there and uh, I can see the waterfall just in front of me so I'll get closer and I'll bring you back.
to have arrived at the waterfall. This doesn't really give it much justice of how big and magnificent that is. But the noise going all the way down there. It's all gnarly and uh, lots of gnarly trees. And it's a case of it'll have to be a composition from this side. There's no way of getting over there. So I'm going to put my bag down and see what I can do with this one. It's absolutely amazing. Right, I've taken a, a few photos while I've been here, but I just went through this one because I've not run through you a photograph yet. So what we've got, I've got the uh, Tamron 1024 HLD drive, HLD drive, the new one on the front. It's currently at 18 mm um, I'm shooting it up the waterfall. There's this nice grain bank with all the moss and the overhanging tree branch as well. Um, at the moment I'm on F8. ISO 100, it's going to be one sixth of a second. I've got the polarizer on. Take the there off because uh, we've got the sun coming through and sitting in certain parts. And it's, um, so doing that, it's quite nice. So we're going to take that photo. Mirror up mode, exposure delay set to three six seconds. And it also got the um, electronic foot curtain shut and switched on. Well, we've um, got back to the car and uh, not sure what we're going to do. There's only so much rain I can take, I'm afraid. Um, just wiped all the gear over, it's all back in the car, all nice and safe. Um, just got to give it an hour, just going to wait around here for an hour um, and see if the weather clears up. There's no signal here and there never is on Dartmoor. Um, just got to wait around and see what the weather's going to turn out like. Um, and just go from there really, if it's not going to improve, uh, so make me way home. So I have to wait and see. So if there's a continuation of this video, there's obviously some more coming after it. If not, you'll see the end credits. Anyway, I'll sit here and wait. I'll catch you later.